Hi there, and thanks for watching. Last time we talked about ASP.NET, I said that a web connection is stateless. And it is actually true, a HTTP connection is stateless, but ASP.NET offers some session variables that you can use in order to store data on a session. Let me, let me demonstrate this shortly for you. We can see here that I have started the session, we get a session ID, and I'll show you later how to use this session ID. And I also get a time for when I started this session. The difference between those two is that this is a session ID that are generated on ASP.NET's session, and this is a time date that are stored in a static variable. Just to show you the difference between a static variable and a session variable. Let me just enter some test data in this one. This is a chat client. So I'll just enter test chat. So at first, let me just demonstrate here that I'm saving nothing, and then I get new sessions IDs each time. Then I can make test chat. As you can see, it comes up here and I get a new session ID, but this time I stored something on the session. So let's create a new test chat number two, just to show you it comes in, but the session variable doesn't change. And we can even make a free. So now we have three lines in our session chat and the same session ID. Let us start a new so this is Internet Explorer, and this down here is Chrome. I'm just starting exactly the same, same web page, and you can see here that I have another session ID. So these are not the same sessions, but if you look at the timestamp, these are actually the same. We'll look a bit more to that in a few seconds. And here I'll just type test1. And we can type test 2 and 3. And we can update this one. Just to show you that test 1, 2 and 3 and test chat hasn't anything to do with each other. And they still have different session IDs. So now we know how this program works. Let me show you. I created a class in, um, in my model layer that I call session data, and it's static because session data is static. And the first thing I want to show you is this static string property. I have here my private variable and my property that I can make, that I can get. And if the state variable is null, I'm setting it to string to, to the now.to string and just returns it. And as we saw, this is a bit dangerous as a static string variable is actually static all across the web server. So starting new sessions will still get the same st uh, static string. So strings in a static or actually all static variables are actually a bad thing here unless you want them to be equal all across the web server. Then we have this session variable. These are session data. And as you can see here, I'm using the system.web.httpcontext.current.session. And in these square brackets, I have just called it all data. And if it's not equal to null, I'll just return whatever in it. And if it is equal to null, in this case, I'll just return a new empty string. And when I set it, I just store it as the value within this session string. Session.web.httpcontext.current.session all data. And you can store all kinds of data. Here I have an example of a list. 
a list of strings. It could be a list of any kind of object or integers or whatever. Here we have an integer. So I'm passing it, passing it to an int because what it actually stores here is just object. So I have to tell it later that it is actually an integer. And here it comes, our session ID. So this is good if you want to track a unique session. And here down here, I have stored a name. Let's look at the code. So up here, I say that if the name that I type, let's look at the application at the same time. If I doesn't type anything in here, it doesn't store it. So if there's zero characters in my name text, then it doesn't call this. And when it doesn't call it, it doesn't store it in a session. And while I haven't stored anything in the session, it will just give me a new se a session each time. But as soon as I just store anything, I get the same session, as you can see here. And the session variable doesn't change. And that's the secret about sessions. A session will not be saved on Earth. A session will not be saved until you store anything in it. That's because a session lives in the web server's memory. And usually you have way too little memory in web servers, so you want to save it. You don't know if you got a hundred clients or ten clients or a million clients at the same time. So you have to be a little bit careful about how you spend your memory. So store only what's necessary for the session in session variables. For example, login information. And then store everything else in the SQL database, files, whatever, but not in sessions. So be careful how do you use sessions, even though you can store almost everything in it. Usually a session variable is kept alive for like 20 minutes since the last time you access it. It can be changed. For example, on my web server, I set it to eight hours, but that depends on the policies of the web server. That was all I wanted to show you for this time. Thank you and thanks for watching.